Running through an unfamiliar neighborhood at night is not the most pleasant experience. I took a wrong turn a couple of times, and now I was wandering down the same streets. On top of that, I had to hide from angry dogs. And all because he was chasing me and almost keeping up with me. Katniss, daughter, wait a minute, listen to me. You're not a father to me. Leave me alone. I'll tell mom everything. It was hard to scream because of the lump in my throat. This situation hurt me so much that I didn't hold my tears back, but I couldn't stop. My own father had done things that are disgusting to talk about. I am Katniss, and this is my story of how my father abandoned us and only came back when we got rich. Now, I had to get to my mom fast to tell her everything. Once again, a dog jumped out in front of me. How many of them are there? It barked loudly at me. Frightened, I found nothing better than to bark back. Unexpectedly, the dog ran away. If I were in her place, I would have done the same. But there was very little time left. I had no choice but to take a shortcut. I ran in a straight line through the cornfield, and I got lost in the tall stalks. Now, either my father will find me, or a flying saucer will take me away. The aliens will abduct me and experiment on me. But it's better than seeing my lying father again. And once upon a time, we had a family. And I thought we were the happiest family in the world. I had no idea what was really going on. Years ago, we were very poor. For example, I, as the smallest one, slept in the closet. It was warm and dry. I considered the big closet to be my private room, and my pets were two big bugs. And even those cockroaches were more human than my father. He abandoned us because of this poverty. He made up some stupid excuse and left. My mom cried for days on end, and I used to comfort her. To survive and feed me, my mother had to work two jobs. At the same time, she was learning to draw because she had a talent which she had not developed before due to lack of time. She painted at night in order to find a high-paying job. That's how we survived, and we didn't know where dad was. My mother tried to avoid talking about him at all. When we went through another difficult period of extreme poverty, we'd do anything just to get something to eat. Here, Katniss, eat this. It's almost real soup, mom said. Thank you, mommy. I smiled, though in fact, it was disgusting to even look at the plate. It was salt water and bread. One day, however, mommy was suddenly contacted by a company. They liked the drawings she sent in. Mom was offered an internship, and of course she accepted. Every night, Mom would draw, and I would take a nap next to her. She looked terrible in the morning, since she hardly slept at all. But all of these efforts paid off, because Mom, after all, got a job. Within a matter of two years, our life had changed dramatically. We got a big house and a cool car, and I got my own room instead of a closet. Now, my mom wasn't just drawing pictures. She started working on big blockbusters because she became a professional CG artist. She's making a lot of money now, and everything was going great for a few years. But then one day, there was a knock on our door. Can I help you? Looking at the thin man on the doorstep, I thought his face looked familiar. Hello, daughter. He stepped forward with a smile, and I suddenly remembered. I quickly shut the door, and it hit the familiar stranger right on his lying nose. You have the wrong house, I muttered. Daughter, it's me. It's your daddy. I've missed you so much. I don't have a dad. He left us. But I had to do it. Almost crying, he shouted from behind the door. And then, my mother came to the noise. I was afraid, more than anything, that she would let him in the house. But she told my father that he was not welcome here. However, I noticed how meeting him changed our lives. I was sure that this unpleasant incident was forgotten. But after a few days, I began to notice my mother's strange behavior. Every night, she was chatting with someone on the phone with a happy smile. She started giving me more pocket money, even bought me the coolest electric scooter. But that's when I started to worry, when I started to feel a stranger's presence in the house. While I was at school, someone was definitely visiting because some of the things were out of place. Some things were disappearing, and that's when I decided to interrogate my mother. Mom, what's going on? Are you seeing someone? No, why do you even think that? With a casual smile, Mom picked up her cup of tea, and then suddenly dropped it. Looking at the brown puddle on the white carpet, she just smiled. And then I realized what was going on. Mom, are you in love? I jumped up. Yes, Katniss, she said staring dreamily out the window. And I was on my way to the store for cake and other goodies. This is a big event. It needs to be celebrated. When I sat the table, my mom started talking about her boyfriend. 
Oh, how great he was according to her stories. I thought for sure he would make my mom happy. Then mom said that her boyfriend was coming to visit us soon. And imagine how shocked I was when I saw my dad on the doorstep again. Stop trying. Mom has a boyfriend who definitely won't leave her in the lurch. Daughter, we need to talk. Dad made a move, but I stepped away firmly. I have nothing to talk to you about. Go away. We are waiting for a guest. Darling, mom looked out of the kitchen with a smile. Peter is our guest. What? He is your boyfriend? My scream almost made the glasses on the table burst. Do you think I cared enough to deal with all of this? Of course I didn't. I slammed the door to my room so hard that the doorknob was left in my hand. My parents tried to get me to come out, and I was crying hysterically like a hurt little girl, screaming for them to leave me alone. How could my mother ever forgive him? We almost ended up on the street because of poverty. Where was he then? Why didn't he show up until now? We don't need him. When the hysteria went away, I thought he came back for a reason. He must want something from us because we're rich now. No, I'm not going to let him take advantage of us and I'm going to find out what he's up to. Dad came to live with us and I started following him and literally a couple of days later, he got caught. It was just the two of us and I noticed he was suspiciously examining every corner of the house. He must be looking for a safe with money in it. Yes, we have one, and my father probably knows about it. I immediately caught it on camera, and then I ran straight to my mom's office. I showed her the video and tried to talk her into going home. Come on, let's go. You have to kick him out. He's changed his ways, Katniss. He's sorry for what he did, but I still managed to convince her. When we came home unexpectedly, we saw my father dismantling a niche in the wall. There you are! I burned him with my gaze! There's no safe! Don't try it! What safe? What are you talking about, Katniss? Dad sat up in surprise. Explain that to the cops, I smiled. The wiring in this place is unsafe. Your house could have burned down if I hadn't smelled it. Dad stepped away from the niche in the wall, and I saw a toolbox and wire sticking out. Unconvincing, he sure is pretending to care so much. He tried to explain to me how he'd suffered without us when he left the family, but circumstances kept him from coming back. I didn't even listen to his excuses and waited for a chance to find out what he was really up to. And then, one day, I got onto something. I happened to notice that my father was looking at our antique clock. Then, all of a sudden, he took a picture of it and called someone. Yeah, would you take it? How much would it cost? Agreed. After saying that, he put the watch in a bag and left. What a heinous thief! I immediately called the cops and reported the theft and who had done it. The cops were quick, but it didn't make me feel any better. Instead of a thank you, I got a warning for making a false call. Turns out, my father had called an antique dealer who was supposed to fix the clock. That's what my mother asked him to do, but that wasn't all. A couple of days later, I heard the terrible news. Mom and Dad decided to get married again. No, you can't. No, I screamed. I didn't want mom to make the same mistake again. And just after that news, I noticed that dad was always talking to someone on the phone and going somewhere every Tuesday and Thursday. One day, he said into the phone, I love you, Rosie. Who the hell is Rosie? In anticipation of this handle, my palms even itched. That's it, daddy. I'll bring to light all your lies. So once again, when he was about to go see Rosie, I hid in the back seat of the car. He didn't see me and we drove to the suburbs. All my expectations came true. I saw a whole family greeting my father. A young woman hugged him and kissed him on the cheek. Meanwhile, the father handed her the briefcase. Peter, I can't take that much money, said the woman as she opened the case. You are my family. I can't leave you in this position. My heart almost stopped. Is this his real family? He stole money from us to give to this woman? When we ate water and bread, he wasn't trying to help us. I got so fired up that I jumped out of the car, ran up to them, and started screaming like a mad woman. I don't remember exactly what I was yelling, but Rosie even covered her son's ears. And then I rushed home to tell my mom everything. That's where the story began. I tried to run away from my father, but he caught me after all. Katniss, we need to talk. He looked at me pleadingly. Get away from me. I don't want to see you. Yeah, it was my fault. I was afraid we were going to end up on the street, and I ran away like a coward. I wanted to come back to you, but then your grandfather died. 
Grandma was left alone. I couldn't leave her. I didn't want to listen to him, but Dad kept talking, and with each word he spoke, the story got more and more touching. It turned out that Rosie was his half-sister. When Grandpa died, Grandma met a new love many years later. Rosie is that man's daughter. It so happened that Rosie was raising all of her children by herself. Meeting her was what made Daddy admit his mistakes and come back to us. And the money he gave her was given by my mom to help Rosie's family. All of this time, my father had been helping them and ashamed that he didn't do the same for us. I don't need the money. The most important thing to me is your forgiveness. Dad squeezed my hand and cried. I couldn't say anything back at that moment. But my father's story really moved me. I talked to Rosie that night and she described him to me as a completely different person. And you know, I forgave him because he deserved a second chance. Do you think I did the right thing by forgiving my father? Share your opinion in the comments. And don't forget to like this story so that as many people as possible can see it. People as possible can see it.